Okay, we're going to be doing a second test here. I just want to show you guys how many amps we pull in from these um, Ford Focus batteries. Okay, uh, lithium batteries. So this is like a, um, almost a 24 kilowatts here. So we have other batteries here, which is the Volkswagen e-Golf, the down there. So they're parallel to each other. They all have the same specification. It's the same chemistry. Okay, NMC or NCM, something like that. So, so we're doing the test and see 15 amps coming off from this, and this is the main for the Volkswagen e Golf, it's 13 7. Okay. And this goes to the inverter. This is coming up from the inverter, the main inverter the load. So I have uh, the Ford Focus batteries. So those are 24 kilowatts here. And um, the, uh, the e Golf, I have um, six wide in parallel, six wide in wire series. Each string, each block, each module is at uh, 13. 13.7, okay, uh, 16.7, sorry, 16.7, 16.7, 16.7, so I can able to build uh, three of these modules, one, two, three of this one, and put one of the small one here, that gives us a 48 volt already, 50, 57.6, 57.4, so I can do the other three and put one of these, it gives her back uh, 50 something, point something, or 48 volts so I have two extra because each cell here is a 8 point, 8 point something volts I think it's 8.2 so this this is a cell a, a battery by itself so if I combine two of these I already get one of these guys here so this one will set up I can put one two three then I put one of these so it makes it a 48 volt Three of these, another 48 volts. So I have these ones combined. It, it gives me a 60 volt. My inverters can take that. So let's look the load right happening here. You see we only put about 900 here. That's the app is re uh, recording because we're taking power from those and power from here. And you see it's only pulling 15. And the water is already boiled. And each uh, string here. You see, 3.8, any of them is 3.8 is doing. Okay, now the ticket will just kick off. And look at the power, it doesn't go anywhere. So these are the uh, Ford Focus batteries. I think these are um, NCM or NMC, whatever you call it, and um, lithium. And um, these guys, the Volkswagen E-Golf is a lithium batteries as well. They are all the same chemistry and the same uh, configuration, the same specification. So they match. So I was just testing this and that's why you have to make sure your batteries are all, uh, when they parallel them, put them into a bus bar because they're going to work correctly. So I decided to make just uh, this guy, the little ones that's supposed to give you the 48 volts because uh, uh, inside the car, they comes with one, two, three. They string them all after that. They add the little ones there to give the complete voltage that they, 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 they need. So that's how it's designed. So I bought two extra of these ones so that I can run my 60 volt into my outback for the 48 volt system. So because it can take it, and these ones already, if you put them all together, will give you uh, the 66 or 67. So what I was doing, I wasn't running the 67, but I was running into 65. My outback, um, the Marine, the MT, 3048 MT. So I was running it into it. And uh, 60 volts I was using, just super efficient. You're not going to see any delay or lag or anything, not pull any lot of current. So remember, if you're running a 12 volt, you're running a, um, a 100 amps off of, something on a battery so on a 24 volts you're pulling half of it so on a on a 48 volts it's like a a quarter you're taking out because the, the amps drop 
and the voltage goes up. The vo voltage goes higher and um, yeah, so the amps drop. So that's why I was using the little wires here. These are the Royal Excellent cable. You can see is a six gauge. So I have four of them. So if you do the math and calculate these four wires as a one conductor, that is going to be a big cable right now. But because it all comes to the bus bars and they tie there, it's that they, 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 they bring um, even power or all the power is going to be the same. So I put a clamp meter, they're going to read the same. Because when you pair or something, they have to have the lines all have to be equal. You don't have any discrepancy. So they're all the same length. They're all the same length. I decided to put the, 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 the crimp on them. So I didn't put the, the, the heat shrink. So don't penalize me for that because it's just a quick setup. And they have uh, temperature sensors and connections. And these batteries are really, these batteries are the ba first batteries I've ever had that's using a radiator. You can, a cooling system. You can use like a, the, like a, uh, like an antifreeze to cool them. See, there's a fins on the back here. So water comes in here, whatever liquid. I never hook up that system. It's one person on YouTube I've saw, I've seen build up a kind of reservoir that puts like a cooling system. It goes through its batteries and, and uh, come back. I would have called the name, but I don't want to call the name maybe because I, I haven't asked a permission to mention that person on my video. So I don't want any problem or any confrontations about something. So everything you, you got to ask. So I didn't ask. So I'm not going to um, call that person's name or mention that person. But probably if you have watched that person's video, yeah, they will tell you. Uh, you know exactly who, who I'm talking about. He's a good, very good person to me, close, but I have to ask for permission. You know how nowadays how the world is, so um, I don't want any confrontation with um, other fellow YouTubers or any uh, uh, content creator. Creator, okay? Doesn't mean we can uh, 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 fight back or something. Yes, we can, but... You know, bringing a war to yourself. This channel is not for that. So, it's a peaceful channel. And uh, if you want to see some experimental things I'm doing, then you're welcome. So, violence and all that kind of stuff. Bully, you know, that, it doesn't work. So, it's just I'm not just that person. So, there you go. So, I don't know. I was recording this uh, thing and I was thinking the record button is already pushed and uh i've been talking for a long time and right now I, I realized that nothing was going so this is just my test site you see all the volkswagen e-golf a lot of you guys were asking and this is uh 450 amps on tw 24 volts it's 900 on 12 volt because each module here is a 12 volt okay likewise here each module is 12 volt. The last time I stored them for a very long time, you see the voltage that says 15.80. You see the other one over there? 81. So I marked them all, but they've been sitting for almost what? Three or four years. Three years. I haven't used them. And batteries are still balanced. So I decided to take them out. Because I was hoping one time they came on my guys there, battery cup. Then I was trying to get some, but um, I forgot. I totally forgot. By the time I realized, oh, I have some of these, but I would have added a bunch of them and someone cleaned them up. So this is what it is. Just about batteries today and um, the connection, series pair rail. Two of these guys is a 24 volts already because there's 16, 7. And uh, putting the bus bars here, it makes it a 24 volt. This is a 24 volt. This is a 24 volt and a 24 volt right there. And the little ones, 8 point something volts. I think it's 8.1, 8.2. So connect this again. That will give us a 16, 7. So this one gives us another 24 volt. So is um is a uh, four strings of twos 
So two here, two here, two there, and four here because these are just eight, eight point something, eight point something. So it, be, it be, makes it as one sixteen seven. So I hope I'm clear and um, like and subscribe. But since I double up, we have over seven hundred and was it seven twenty two amp hours here. So let's see, it's a lot of power. It's a lot of power on lithium. Yep, 722, I was right. So, yeah. So we'll be running for the second day. Right now we see only, uh, um, okay, yeah, the second day, because yes, um, we, we get the batteries fill, filled up yesterday. And all night, I just pull a 1%. Yeah, 100, 1%. And this morning, as soon as I turned the thing, the tablet, and I started seeing is a uh, uh, 2% now. So they're running efficiently. Everything is working fine. They work together with the, the e-golf, Volkswagen e-golf, and I'm running the shunt on this, just a, a connection there. So... Just a, a test. It's not a permanent thing, and it's running the outback. So everything is working fine. The freezer is pulling only about a uh, hundred, somewhat, because outback can only read one, is a point one. So maybe we it might be a hundred and twenty or something or whatever it is. But right now, with all that draw, you guys seen that's happening here. Check this out. This is the amp. 1.2 amp is pulling from this entire battery bank here see that from this because the all batteries are all parallel here 1.2 on each leg and um, this inverter what comes now from the inverter with the load look is a 2.8 so it's pulling from this leg see what i'm saying and let's see like I said, this is my test site. It's not as uh, clean and pretty. So it's just because I dismantle all these things any uh, anytime or all the time. So I just want to show you guys. This is what it is. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA, live from Command Center in Minnesota. And thanks for watching. And I hope um, this video, I'm um, just... I don't want to ramble too much, rambling, rambling, but I uh, just want to show you what these batteries can still do with all the power that we have. Take care. Bye for now.